Hi everyone, I'm Cindy. I'm 15 years old and I've always considered myself a reasonable person. However, I'm stuck in the most stupid situation possible. I've fallen in love with a celebrity and it has given me lots of unpleasant moments. This is what happened. I broke up with my boyfriend in February, right before St. Valentine's, and it was all shambles. I actually was very fond of him and felt very sad and lonely. And after several weeks, it didn't pass. One evening, I was browsing videos online when I came across a music video made by a young male singer. He sings non-standard songs about feelings and actually doesn't look like a standard glamorous celebrity. More like a guy next door. I, of course, knew his songs like everyone at school, but I wasn't a fan. He was just another celebrity. However, when I fell into that video vortex, I actually couldn't stop watching his videos and listening to his songs. Those were not usual songs about love. He was expressing exactly the feelings that I had inside me. And he wrote his songs himself. I never heard the words that expressed my inner world better than his lyrics. That's when I started falling in love. Okay, I thought. That spring sentimentalism I'm having, it'll pass. I spent several weeks listening to his music non-stop, watching his videos, dreaming him at night, and daydreaming him at day. I also liked his looks. He looked so nice and unusual. After a month, I realized that my feelings toward him didn't fade out. On the contrary, it was becoming an obsession. My friends started avoiding me because I was so in love that I literally wasn't able to talk about anything else. I realized it was utterly stupid to be in love with a star, but he seemed exactly the person who understood me better than anyone. But I didn't want to carry all the weight of that awkward infatuation alone. I decided that there would definitely be a community online that has other people like me who wouldn't snort when I again start talking about him. That was how I became an active member of my Idols fan community. This felt good. I understood that I wasn't alone. And there were even boys who, rather than the singer's personality, appreciated his music. I didn't feel fully satisfied, though. You know when you're in love with someone and you want to be with him or her all the time? I didn't have any possibility to spend even a second with a person I'm in love with because, well, you know, he didn't even know about my existence. And you have that realization all the time that you wouldn't have any possibility to get closer to him. Never, ever. This is so sad and embarrassing and heartbreaking and very, very depressing. What choice did I have? To become a stalker? It's pretty pathetic to follow someone who would never possibly care about you. However, I thought it would be possible to improve this situation. I decided to meet him. I started browsing the list of his upcoming shows and chose one near my city. I even managed to arrange with my parents that I went there on my own with one of my classmates who also wanted to go. Thus, it was twice as exciting. I was going to listen to him live, sing my favorite songs together with him, and no one would distract me. I couldn't sleep the night before the concert. I came well in advance in order to place myself into the first row so that I could easily be seen by him. When he came onto the stage, I was about to faint. He was so close to me, I could touch it with a hand. I could hardly breathe. I was in all tears because I was too excited. It was a unique experience, and I wanted to keep that memory. I spent all the money I had for merchandise. When I came home, I made a sort of an altar where I put things I bought, tickets, and other memorabilia from that day. And I decided that I needed to do it again. And again. I wanted to see more of him. It was never enough. I got addicted to going to whichever concert he gave, and believe me, it was easy for a teenage girl. But. I was obsessed by his songs and his beautiful smile. I managed to go to several concerts, but soon his tour was coming to an end and I was inconsolable. I was in touch with his fans from his community from various cities. With one of them, Dave, 
We were chatting a lot, talking about concerts and music in general, but I'd never met him. He seemed a nice guy, and we agreed to do that last concert together. When we met before the concert, I realized that Dave was very good looking, even better than the pictures, and a very pleasant person, all in all. And what's better, he made me forget for some time my obsession. We were just chatting about everything, and I enjoyed his company. The concert was wonderful, and I was totally ecstatic. But there was another reason apart from seeing my favorite singer live. Dave was close to me all the time, and we were enjoying the concert together. At some point, he took my hand, and I didn't take it from him. And when there was the most romantic song, he kissed me. And, well, <laughs> what should I say? That was breathtaking. It was that combination of my favorite music and that romantic kiss that made me fly to heaven. I keep this memory as the most romantic one in my life. I'm still adoring my favorite singer, but it's more of an admiration to his skill. That crazy infatuation has finally left me. My heart is taken by Dave, who turned out to be the most romantic guy you could ever imagine, and who is now my boyfriend. And the best thing is, we share the same interests, and he is always ready to discuss my favorite music with me. I hope you like my story, and you could share it with your friends. Please leave a comment if you're also in love with someone famous.